In the previous video, we saw that the Euler characteristic of the sphere is equal to two. Here we have an example, the Earth. The Earth is essentially a sphere. We can use the latitudes and longitudes as the edges, and where they meet, they would be the vertices, and the regions they enclose the faces. But actually, we could use any curvy polygonal figure to make a subdivision of the sphere. And we go like this, and we cover the whole sphere, and we will get that the Euler characteristic is equal to two. It doesn't matter how we subdivide, the Euler characteristic remains the same. Now, let's take a look at the next figure. Here we have a sphere that is subdivided in a very geometric and symmetrical way. There are some things to notice here. One is that it uses only triangles, and the other is that most of the, of the vertices belong to six faces. So this vertex belongs to six faces. And we look and look, and then we encounter that a few of them, a few vertices, belong to only five faces. That's something to explore, maybe a little bit more. And here we have a picture of the Epcot Center. And this design was inspired by this figure right here, by the subdivision of the sphere, with the added feature that every triangle has kind of a pyramid. It has one more vertex and three more edges. And they do this for every triangle. And here, I try to find vertices with six faces, and that is most of them, and a few of them with just five faces. Let's take a closer look. Here we can see that most of the vertices belong to six faces, but still some of them belong to only five faces. The Euler characteristic is going to be equal to two. Your task is given a sphere, you need to find a subdivision following the instructions that you can only use pentagons such that every vertex belongs to three pentagons. That is the first part of your task. And then the second part of this task is now you can use pentagons and hexagons such that every vertex belongs to three polygons. Good luck at finding these subdivisions. And after you do, try to find any similarities between these two.